The weather is heating up and that means more people are going to be heading to the lake and you're probably going to see a little more congestion at the boat ramp. So we have Doug Lear with the North Dakota Game of Fish Department here to talk a little bit about how we can calm some of those frustrations, the tempers when it comes to, it seems silly, but we're like, we must get on the water as soon as possible. And if we, if we <laughs> think about it, we're all in it together. Yeah. You know, we're, we're all going to the lakes, going to the water for similar reasons. Some people want to fish, some people want to go out pontooning or jet skiing, and we all want to get out there to have some fun. So it's almost kind of counterintuitive. It's like, well, why would people be, you know, their tempers flaring and, and things right. getting heated because you want to get on the water, you want to get off the water. And, and that's where we really want to ask people to, to understand that we're all in this together, everybody's got the same goal, so there's some things that you can do to, to make it a little bit more efficient for everybody that's going on the water, or if we've got a storm situation, everybody wants to get off the water at the same point and at the same time, Lisa. What are your tips for people? Well, it can be as simple as the fundamentals of having some patience and, and just breathing and relaxing and understanding that the, you know it, it's boating, it's fun, let's have a little bit of patience, wait our turn, and then having as many people as possible. I mean, the minimum we would like to request is to have two people. One person in the tow vehicle that's backing the boat in or taking it out. Having two people um, is really gonna make things more efficient. If you have even more people, somebody else can load the equipment into the boat. Somebody else can be taking the equipment out of the boat and understanding that um, have those, those fishing rods, have that, that uh, cooler already in the boat <laughs> when you go into the water instead of walking back and forth putting it in and taking it out. It's just, that could really set people off. <laughs> it, it can. It can. Or the other side of it is if somebody is struggling and somebody is having some problems, instead of sitting there getting frustrated, go help down. Help them out. Give them a hand because you're all in it together. Give them a hand. Help them out. Sometimes it may be somebody that doesn't have as much experience putting a boat into the water or taking out. Sometimes things happen where the toe strap is stuck or the, you know, the, the anchor isn't working quite right. So there's some things that we can do so we can all enjoy our time in the water, Lisa. You know, it's a good idea just to kind of think about it ahead of time and remind yourself to be patient. And yeah, the, the, the planning is, is all aspects of it. The planning is putting the boat on the water, taking it off. The planning is the, the totality of the trip. And, and that can go to helping everyone enjoy their time because that's what we want to do. We want to get on the water and have some fun. And just maybe one quick reminder to be safe because we're going to see more activity out on the water. Yeah, definitely. As the temperatures continue to heat up, there's going to be more people out on the water and, and safety should always be the top of the list, no doubt about it. Great reminders this morning. Doug Lear with North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Thanks for coming in today. You're welcome.